So Kenny, does defeat the other night change your thinking for Saturday in any way? Not particularly. Barnsley have a, a good side and a very good home record. So, you know, we, we respect that first and, um, uh, you know, w- work hard at the size of the task, which we're capable of because, you know, our, our record so far is, is, is good this season. Um, in in you know, my summing up of Tuesday night, after a couple of days, I still feel the same. We were too passive in the first half and we didn't get the crowd going. I can't really think of a, a decent chance that we really created in the first period and I didn't think we threatened them. Second half, we came back very, very well. And um, if you're going to go down, and we never want to lose, but if you're going to go down, that second half performance was how it is. But, but generally, you know, we've got the start of the game right and then, like Charlton did, been able to see it out. Uh, and, and we have to make sure we address that on Saturday. Start well, start better than we did, and uh, try to get the ascendancy in the game if we can. Do you think you're a team of two halves? Because the other Saturday you started well and then went the other way in the second half. Yeah, it's just a slight reversal of how a lot of our games have been. But um, uh, uh, similarly, though, Charlton are a good team, and uh, looking at sort of one to eleven, they're a good side, um, and Barnsley are as well. So high quality game again. I'm expecting. Uh, do do think we have to. You know, be at our very best, but again, we're capable of it. Uh, not too much wrong the other night, and and really by the end, uh, unlucky not to get something out of the game. Would you rather it be a high quality side like Barnsley because it's going to be obviously a difficult test? Yeah, you have to come across all of those, and or you know, during the course of the season, if you want to be successful, if you want to get promotion, you know, these are the sides up and around us that, that have the ability, have the players to do it and, and a big enough club. So, you know, Barnsley are one of those, undoubtedly, after coming down out, out of the championship, they've put a lot into their squad and, and um, you know, quite rightly are trying hard to bounce back at the first attempt. And, uh, you know, for us, we, we realise the sense of the task, but also we're looking forward to the game. You know, we're a good side ourselves and showed a lot of commitment, heart, quality and spirit in that second period. And we have to try to, wherever we can, uh, start where we finished on Tuesday. And you've still got an unbeaten away record to preserve. Yeah, we have, and, and you know we we are proud of what we've done so far. We also realise that we have to look forward and uh, um, have to be at our very best on Saturday to, to 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 get something out of the game. Andre Green has he perhaps forced his way into your thinking? Yeah, he has, and you know it's four goals now in all competitions. First league goal, which is good. Two checker trade, one FA Cup, and his first league goal, and and looks confident, you know, and, and um, his speed. We were just talking to him this morning about his, you know, his power, his speed is 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 there, and we think it's coming now. And you know, it's a with with the quick players, with the sprinters, uh, making sure that their body is right and getting towards 100%, which we feel that's the case now, and uh, proving to be a good asset. I wish maybe you could have introduced him a bit earlier on Tuesday night. Yeah, perhaps that was a that was a case, but also I did feel Lee Brown put a lot of very good balls in with his left foot, but uh, it was a consideration definitely by Wednesday morning. I did think it happened. Yeah, injury problems. We're okay. Um, we don't feel you know we have any problems that are going to affect us by Saturday anyway. Uh, a couple of bumps and bruises, but all okay for the weekend. Uh, um, we've appealed from you know Ben Thompson's red card and we should find out this afternoon whether we're successful or not and so whether he can play at Barnsley. should be mentioned also that might have slipped over under the radar Dion Donoghue went through 45 minutes the other day at Bournemouth. Yeah and uh, also you know Dave Wheeler isn't too far away as well so and good players give us good flexibility and variation and and for Dion can play a number of positions and you know if Ben is out can help us in midfield definitely from having horrendous injury problems last season and an almost a clean slate this year round. Yeah, superstition being what it is, you don't like to mention it, do you? But uh, uh, for us anyway, it's good to see. It gives us some continuity and hopefully you know, getting the best out, out of our group because there's competition behind this, the starting eleven.